Hi everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. How are you? Okay, if I sound a little bit sick, that's because I am, but you won't be seeing this video until I'm probably all better in a few weeks. So I just wanted to show you what I got from Timu. I bought it myself. I'm not sponsored. They've been asking me to be an affiliate. I don't know. I'm trying to make up my mind about that. So let's get started. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Read the descriptions below. I have a, a Fetch app that you can go and use my code and you'll get free points and so will I. So, so let's get started. Here is my Timu bag. It's pretty big, isn't it? It's like 19, 19 inches by 17. So that's because it had two pairs of shoes in it. So anyways, I put that in the background. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is I broke down and bought it the three-way punch and this camera is not going to adjust I thought it would okay so this one says R10 millimeters so this is round 10 millimeters this is round 4 millimeters and this is round 7 millimeters so I'm going to open it to show you how it works everybody else is doing that so i had better do it so here we go and then when we get to the dies we will have a separate video for the demonstrations i will be right back with a piece of paper so i have this piece of paper we're going to go on the 10 millimeter side and we're going to just that's nice we're going to go on the four millimeter side and cut that's a nice one i have i have the one i bought from them earlier that does that one and then the oh that was four seven millimeter nope let's just do it this way seven millimeters nice does a great job guys love it so I'm glad I got this. I'm glad I broke down and got it because I do have one from Hobby Lobby. I do like it, but I want to have this one that has three sizes. So I think I'm just getting a little bit more picky. So, all right, this I've already broke into it. I think it has 500 stickers in it. This was, oh, this was four dollars and 58 cents okay that is a nice corner cutter real nice all right so these are little stickers as you know by the time you see this it'll be over i do have a craft fair i wanted some pink stickers that i could write a price and how many yards i've cut something or whatever um it was $1.78, and I believe there are 500 stickers in here. So this is a very nice addition to my stash, and I might get another roll just in case. Now this roll is, um, I think it has 500 stickers here too. $2.18 for 500 stickers. So when you have an Etsy shop or you have a craft fair show you got plenty of stickers to tell them thank you for su supporting my small business and they're all the same so i'm gonna open it and i know it's loud i'm gonna get rid of the wrapper so this says thank you for supporting my small business and they all say it in there three different stickers on here so that is good i really do like that nice option gonna go to the papers guys here is a pack of paper i thought was really interesting somebody opened this up i forgot who it was on video and showed that it was all vellum and i just thought it was just beautiful i love vellum i collect vellum i have a vellum collection and i do use vellum in my junk journals so just going to open it up. 
I'm sorry about the sniffling. I have been like, yuck, real yuck. But I will be better by the time this goes up, like I said. Um, let me see. We have a piece of paper here. So we'll be able to see. Oops. Look how beautiful this paper is. Tomato sauce with the flour and all that. This is all collaged. Then we have this paper and you have all the advertisement ladies here with the bingo card. This is all collage. The coffee advertisements, the 20s ladies, the 50s people. Really nice. Knowing me, I wouldn't um, mix the two eras, but they do and it looks pretty. So why shouldn't I? So I could fold these in half and use them as um, my pages in my junk journals. I just think that is just beautiful. And the glue I like to use on this is, is Fabri-Tac because it doesn't really shine through too much. So um, using tape, uh, double-sided tape doesn't really work for me because you see it. Unless you do the, you know, if you take a piece and you do all the edges and just leave the middle alone. So, or you can put the eyelets in on each spot. Like, say you've cut this down, right? And you have a crop of dial with your eyelets and you put them on each corner. And you not just put them on each corner, but clip them to a card to make your card front. So that would be really beautiful. I learned that back in the 90s or the eight, um, early 2000s, 90s. It is a really beautiful um, thing you can do. Look how pretty. I'm going to go a little quicker. I'm not going to point things out on it because we've got a little bit to go. Look at that. I said I wasn't going to point out, but that's beautiful. Okay. Really pretty paper. I am so glad that I got it. Yes, I will use it. And it is a nice co coffee stain looking paper really nice so that pack is beautiful all right every so often if i go off and pause that means i have to i have an itchy throat and i have to go cough so here is another pack this one says animal diary this looks like if you fold it in half you could make a small junk journal with these and they and i looked at it there are two, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. This one was, come on, $3.49. A little bit much, but vellum is beautiful. This is called sulfuric acid paper. So you might want to know that. But this is just um beautiful these were at the time 198 i've noticed that lots of our uh junk journaling stuff has gone up at least 10 to 50 cents so keep an eye on that and watch the coupons because they are going down below what they originally offered so you get two of each or three Wait a minute. Yeah, you get three of each. So you can make, I would say, a couple of junk journals with these because I would only use one of these pages in a smaller junk journal. So what you would do is fold these in half like so. Okay. And sew it into your signature. And the other side, just distress. And put whatever you want on it. Right? So you have these three right here, and then right there, the tail of winter with the little deers, 
And then you have a fox over here with an archway. Looks like a London kind of scenery. I wish they really didn't do that. So this, these would be very, very nice. There's three of each. I forgot how many papers were in them. I think 30. That's very pretty, right? Ugh. And then more butterflies. So if you want to make a butterfly junk journal, you got some butterflies, you got some birds to make a bird junk journal, foxes, whatever you want. <clears throat> so here's some cardinals and some birdies on this side. And remember, you could just fold it in half. I love what they did here. Excuse me. I didn't know what that was, but... And then here's a little birdie over here. How cute. And then just a plain old kind of like coffee dyed side. So I got three of these, but they're different. So, and I think that the last one is it. Look how pretty. So that is that for this one. $1.98 for these. And I believe it does say how many are in here. 30 pieces. So yeah, you get 50 des uh, 15 designs. 30 pieces. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. 10 designs. Same thing. And this one is uh, 198. 30 pieces. And Dream of Childhood. So we're going to have to turn it around again. So you get some pretty nice... Um, I'm going to put this on top of here so that we can... One, two, three. Look, see? Look how pretty. I love these. These are kind of Victorian, though. Really, really nice. Look at how sweet this one is. Uh, this one is collage with the girl and the boy over here. Very nice. Would go nice in a smaller junk journal. As a matter of fact, you can make a whole junk journal with 10 pages of this. You'd get 20 pages on the junk journal. Just make the cover and sew it all together. And make your um, journal and cards out of another, you know, uh, kit you get from Timu. I think that's my challenge. I'm going to try to do that, but not yet. Look how cute. This is beautiful. Just different, different types of designs. All right, you're making it difficult. One, two, three. Look how pretty that one is. They're, they're all beautiful. And then that one. Isn't that cute? Okay, hold on. I'll get the others. So here is another that says Counter Current Dreams. I only bought three of these because I wanted to see. I really wanted the ones that look like they could fold in half. Because I want to uh, try to make, you know, some really much easier junk journals. <laughs> My junk journal gets pretty difficult. My junk journal, I haven't made one in a couple of months because I'm getting ready for, like, I, what I told you. But, there you go. Isn't that pretty? You got fake stamps. You could cut these out and use them in your junk journaling. But me, I would rather just, that's why I got them. I want to see if I could make junk journals with them. 
So with three uh, designs a piece, three kits, I can make nine of these, I believe. So all I gotta do is come up with a cover and some journaling cards. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna turn this around, hold on. That way you can see it. Very beautiful. Claude and Banks. Yep. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. Okay, had to adjust the camera down a little more. Seems to work when I put it down closer. And if I try to bring it up like that, it blurs out. Are you making me a, a liar? <laughs> I don't know, camera. You you just give me a hard time. And this one. And then this one. Really, really beautiful papers. So I think they did a really good job on this one. I want to go and get some more of these. I wanted to see what they were like first. So here's another paper pad. Um, you know, I got the other ones uh, that had the blue and pink lady. Uh, I can't say what it was. But remember these and then I got another one that had like the rose with the lady on it but these are beautiful and I love them and they come in a book so let me get this open because oh this was two dollars and 68 cents I got uh, two more of these pads one this one is um, de fleurs flower they're double-sided and you could just Take these out and put them in a book, okay? You could just take these out. Look, that's why I love them. They're in a really good condition. And they're also junk journal pages. Look at you get plenty of journaling spots. I don't know if there's any repeats here. But I'm just going to go quick. Yes, that was a repeat. Look. See the repeat? And then here's a nice journaling spot. Look at the beautiful botanicals in here. I'm being drawn to botanicals too now. <laughs> Isn't that awful? So I can mix the botanicals with my 50s girls or I even have 20 girls, which they have in here too. Um, my next video will be about, hopefully, um, I don't know what order they're going to come in, but what I've made for the craft fair. You'll see after the craft fair though. Um, and it's about the pads that I used that I bought with the um, fashion girls on it. You know, Simplicity, McCall's, and Vogue. All those. Look how beautiful this paper pad is. Really, really pretty. I like the, um, it's not muted, but the um, duller kind of yellows. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like goldens in there. There you go. That's this one. And, oh gosh, this one. I've been wanting this one forever. I'd put it in my car, take it out. Same with the other one with the blue. This was $2.68. Um, the first ones I bought, I believe, were two forty eight. dollars So I wasn't happy with the prices going up. I told you they're going up. So you can keep this in this little thing you can make a um, stamp out of. 
So we're just going to go through this real quick. I'll bet you you've been seeing a bunch of them. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. My little granddaughter, she is a natural dancer. And I kept telling my daughter and telling my daughter, get her into dance classes. You don't have to because she will pick up a move like that. So, can't believe it. She's five years old now. And she is just such a rambunctious little girl, but... She does a lot of gymnastics, and she does a lot of dancing. Really cute. That's why, you know, when I see ballerinas, they remind me of her because I believe that's who she is. She's a little dancer. Uh, her name is Callista, and I really, really love that little girl. When she was born, I took in my breath. And I said to myself inside, I am over the moon with this baby. And I recorded her first cry and that phone broke. And so now I don't have it. But it was such the most, if you've ever listened to a baby's first cry, it's just such a beautiful thing. And I was able to listen to her first cry over and over. And so I'm very upset that that phone is broken and gone. I don't have it anymore. But that's par for the course, I guess. I got some more um, doilies. They are a 30, 30 pieces. And these are, let's say... Just about, yeah, five inches across. No, wait, four inches across. So these are four inches. Sorry, I, oh, I'm not measuring, right? So we have this beautiful little vellum uh, ba band. And then we have some gorgeous doilies. Just going to flip through them really quick. We, there's three apiece. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And then we got those. How pretty. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a minute. Let's flip through this again because it was quite washed out for you. Okay, I'll do it this way. Sorry about that, guys. These are gorgeous. I'm going to use them as like framework for the Simplicity Girls that I bought. I like the colors. They're pretty... Um, yeah, old fashioned. All you got to do is distress the outside of them. Look how beautiful. And how come you only get one of these? Jeez. All right. Well, I like these, I'm happy with them. Now, I bought some little stickers and a little pad i thought this pad was a little bit bigger than this i will not for, fall for that again in the second picture this was a dollar 98 in the second picture of the item when you go to look look at the mem mem uh, blah, 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 measurements so that's what this looks like i mean you can make cutie cutie pie stuff but I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm disappointed with the size. This would have been beautiful in a larger paper pad. I don't know, guys. What do you think? But that's okay, because I will use them in collaging. Whenever I collage again. <laughs> so here's a pack of stickers. These were all... Oh, I didn't write the price of this one down. I think this these were all $1.78. So I really have to go a little faster. So 
So these are kind of like card stickers, and they are, um, they have butterflies and birds on them. Oh, please. My hands are not working good. <laughs> Here's a little butterfly, a uh, birdie. So you get two of each. I forgot what was in these. I should have wrote it down. Here's a dragonfly. Birds, dragonflies, good. I want to make a dragonfly junk journal, and I didn't even realize that the dragonflies were in there. Some more butterflies. So this is like, oh, look at that guy. Aren't they cute? Look at that bird. I don't know. You can't see too good. How about just a tiny? Just a tiny bit brighter. All right. I don't know. I can't seem to get the lighting go good on this. My camera rots. I don't know. I got these, and these are the same thing. You could make nice little journaling cards. Journaling cards with these or on the pockets. You could put these women on it. I believe there's two each. Yes, there are. But I don't know how many are in here. This one says 46 pieces. These two are 46 pieces. And this one, I don't know. But. Yeah, these are pretty. Very beautiful. So these will work. I think, yeah, these feel like, um, so these are stickers, if you could see that. And I love that. Very nice. They feel like, uh, washi stickers. So you have this, well, they're stuck to each other. So that's what you get in that little pack. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I got this like this. Look. I, w I wanted to be able to just flip through them to show you. <sighs> Timu, Timu, get your stuff together, man. Oh, well, look how pretty. These are gorgeous. Very, very nice. I'm not going to put them back in right now, you know. Here's a bunch of owls. Long time ago when I bought an owl die, uh, somebody wrote on one of my videos, I don't like owls, they're evil. Well... I'm sorry that you feel that way. I think owls are beautiful. So we all have our own opinions. And that's a good thing. Look at how pretty. Now, they're not just owls in here. There's birds. See that? And I believe they're two each as well. There's butterflies, more birdies, and so forth. I have to hurry to get you to, I have a bunch of dies that I did buy, and we're going to do a review on those later. Um, I'm going to wait till after my thing. But I also have, I bought a bunch of bows. So these bows were 100 pieces for... A um, dollar twenty nine. I got really sick of tying my own bows, especially this thumb does not want to work well. So I bought some mini bows. So we have a hundred little golden bows. 
I wish they had silver ones too, but they didn't. And that's what that looks like. Isn't that cute? And you get a reference on my fingers. You could put these on the tops of your journaling cards and your your uh, greeting cards that you make and anything else you make. Uh, tags, gift tags, and stuff like that. That is just pretty. Then I bought some of the brown checkered bows. There were 20 of these for $1.68. I only bought one of these bags. I should have bought two. Um, I wanted 40 bows. So that's what those look like. Aren't they pretty? And they're very well made. The last time I bought made bows was from AliExpress and they all started falling apart. The um, sewing job just started falling apart then I bought two packages of these I'm gonna lay one down so you can see uh, these were 79 cents for 20 pieces and these are a little bigger open up just want to get one out to show you but these are made very well Look how cute those are. Very nice for your projects. Then I got the black and white ones. So I will show you one of these really quick because I got one of these because I already have a pack and I broke into those, started using them already. And you'll see that on the some of the things that I made, um, journaling cards. Look how cute. They are just really nicely made. If you can buy them that way, nicely made, then you've got it made. <laughs> no pun intended. So I had to do that because I would just rather stick them on my project. Then here is a... I'm collecting all things. Oh, geez. Butter, um, dragonfly. So, oh my goodness. Really? I like how they put it in that. So I got this background stamp of the dragonflies, and that will be on the review with the dies that you're going to see. I was really happy to buy that. And then I saw, like, another one, guys. Gosh, it's all glary. So, I saw this one, and this one is kind of like, um, I wish they would. Oh, why did that have to rip? Oh, well. So, this one is like the other one I bought, but it is smaller. And it's on like a uh, Roman clock with some chains hanging down and some flowers. You don't always have to color these in. Um, you can leave them like a coffee brown in your junk journals. Or, um, you know, like an antique black color. I forgot what they call it. Um, to a wonderful friend spreading your wing spread your wings thank you for your kindness with sympathy and live in the moment so you can make tons of cards with this one stamp which is really nice okay now on to the dies so i'm going to have to move these out of the way so i could use this so you could see what the dies look like now, disappointed with the sizes. This is, was $2. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say what the stamps were? Um, the first stamp was $1.48. And this stamp was $2.48. This was 
$2.38. So you get this die and it makes a kind of like a folder and a pocket. And then you have all these embellishments with a bow and whatever else you have here. You got little leaves, you got the little tabs that fold over uh, and make holes. So you could put a string through a tiny little tag and so forth. So this I'm going to try to put together. You got windows here and all that. Um, I'll try to put it together once for you. That will be on my review. So this is um, a pocket. Like I'm trying to get pockets, but not this small. You see how small it is? So not happy with that but anyways these two uh my husband wanted these were a dollar 98 each so one's going to be a giveaway and one is going to be mine these are bag toppers look how small they are i was buying bag toppers to be able to top my bags in my craft show but these are not big enough obviously so I'll be able to top smaller bags with beads in them some other time. So these were $1.98 a piece. One's going in the giveaway. I don't need to, but I am going to try them both. Now here is a better sized bag topper. Not as good as I want, but a better size. $2.48. So I don't know how it's going to cut out. We'll find that out soon. Okay, then guys, I got some other stuff. I got this little girl because I really do like these little girls that you put together. I have one. No, I think I have two from AliExpress and she was $2.98. So she's a little wintry girl. She's got a little hat over here and this is her head and her hair, her little face. Um her little feet and her little arms are in back of her this is her scarf and i don't know what that is i'm gonna have to cut it out to find out but there's a little round circle so this is going to be a little bit of a joy to put together and we'll see how she comes out okay we'll see i'll put her together for you and show you how she cuts then i got the keys that i wanted um, I want to cut them out all in silver or gold, but I really like antique keys and these were a dollar sixty eight. So we're going to see how well these do. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keys. So that is a good thing because I do make junk journals and I could put, I can make a key to your heart junk journal. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good idea then I got a tree okay and this one was a dollar 38 this is three inches tall so here is the background and here is the front so what you could do is cut this out and then you can get your uh what is it called I have tulip uh puffy paint and you can just follow all of the embossing marks here and make it look like there's snow on the tree so that is that then guys i really wanted this for a long time like the paper pads i kept putting it back this is three dollars and 48 cents i thought i could make a uh, shaker out of it i don't think i can maybe i can i don't know maybe but this is adorable look how big it is it's almost as big as my hand now we're going to measure it on my measuring mat it is five inches tall just a little over five inches tall isn't that wonderful you get two snowflakes I love mittens and cute, cute looking mittens. I really do. 
And I got this tag set. So that was three what? 348. So that will be in the review. Then this tag set was two dollars and forty-eight cents. Very nice. Uh, gift tags, uh, name tags, whatever you want to make out of these. Even people can even wear them with their names on them. You can make uh, journaling tags or whatever. So this, what? Yeah, I said two forty-eight. There are one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Pretty nice size for two forty-eight. It is almost. It's like five, four and three quarter inches tall. So there is your T, uh, Timu haul, and there will be a review on the dies and the stamps, plus the um, other dies that I got. I'm going to do a huge review. I haven't done them yet because I was waiting for this to come in. So let's get on to our prayer because we need to pray thank you lord jesus for dying on the cross for us and thank you for everything you do thank you for providing salvation free salvation and a free eternity with you i don't know who would want to turn away from god and spend eternity without him that to me right now is scary I am so grateful for you, Jesus. You showed me who you were in my desperation, and I'm grateful for that. And I know you can do it for anyone else. You're appearing in, in dreams of people that need to see you. Father, make it possible and plow the hearts of the people that need to be ministered to, that need to hear our words your words coming out of our mouths that need to experience your love that need to experience your healing in that that really need to come to salvation we thank you lord as you give us the wisdom and the courage to be able to minister to those people that you have prepared for us to minister to and as we do that, you go through us and heal them and bring them to salvation. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you. I don't want to see one person perish, not one soul. And neither should anybody else. It's a scary thought. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be part of your army to go and gather more. For the days are few, and the time is short, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. Father God, thank you for blessing each and every one of the ears in earshot, and thank you for anyone that is listening to this video or watching. We thank you for just allowing yourself to open up to the prayers of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. One more look. And that is the Timu Hall. And I'm very sorry for the way I sound, but that's what happens when you get a stupid virus. <laughs> but, don't forget, this is an old video, so I'm probably better by now. So, God bless each and every one of you, and keep creating with love.